Hi guys, we are home from the NICU. We spent two months in Arkansas NICU and we spent two months in Kansas City Children's Hospital. She's found her feet, so she thinks they're very cool. Yeah. Um, we ended up getting a G-tube, so she has a feeding tube. Um, I'm going to do a video on her feeding tube and everything later, but I just thought I'd show you guys really quick. Um, this connects to her. This is just gauze to um, catch any leakage. No, ma'am. And then this is just a um, skin protectant, so this tapes to that so that um, it doesn't wander around. What are you looking at? Hi. Hi. Hiccups. You got the hiccups? Oh no. Yeah. Um, oh, there's the feet again. Yep. Show everybody your bottom. And the tongue thrusting. So much tongue thrusting. Um, she has severe, severe reflux. Um, it's created oral aversion. So she does not want much to do with the bottle, like at all. Um, she'll take maybe 20, 30 mils, so about an ounce. Um, Every once in a while, usually she just screams anytime you put the bottle in her mouth. But we are working on it. She's got lots of therapies, lots of appointments. Um, I'm still home with her. I'm going to stay home with her until the end of cold and flu season to prevent getting RSV because that would be another hospital stay. And mama can't handle any more hospitals. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So she's connected to her pump right now. This is her. Don't mind her. My husband's redoing his truck, so his seat is actually in the living room. But this is her her pump, and then her milk, and we feed her this way. Um, like I said, we do offer the bottle, but she's just not not much of a fan at this point. Um, we're actually going to try and transition her to a sippy cup. She is four months old. She'll be five months on the 2nd of February. Um, but sometimes those little trainer cups, they prefer them over the bottle nipple. So we're going to try and start doing that and see if we can't get her to take more by mouth. I've also given her a little bit of baby food. <laughs> Excuse me, kicking the camera. Um, and she gags a lot on it, which is normal, but um, then she throws up because she has such a sensitive gag reflex. And um, the vomiting is still pretty, pretty intense. She didn't end up getting, um, uh, oh my gosh, I just forgot what it is, a fundoplication. Um, because they said she didn't qualify. But she still, she still throws up quite a bit. Um, she's on reflux meds and she's also on lactulose which is something to help her with motility because she doesn't poop very often. She was en enema dependent in the hospital. So now she's on the lactulose and that helps her go poop. Um, we're gonna start seeing a chiropractor soon and see if that doesn't help with the reflux. Um, maybe get that under control. You showing them your feet? Yeah, you have feet. You do. Other than that, we are loving being home. She sleeps great. She sleeps a good 10 hours um, once she goes to sleep. Usually, um, it takes her several hours to want to go to sleep. She just thinks it's always nap time. But, um, you guys slap her all over you, huh? huh? But she actually is a great sleeper once she goes down. We are going to try and get her adjusted to going to bed a little bit earlier so when mama goes back to work mama's not up until 2 30 or 3 in the morning huh that's not good that's not good well we just wanted to give everybody an update tell you all that we're home huh ruru we're home yeah all right, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys would like to see videos on anything specific or routines or anything like that. Let me know what you guys want to see. And sorry for being absent for so long. It's just been a little crazy with coming home the day before Christmas and Christmas and adjusting to life with little monster at home. Huh? Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.